Almost every week a natural disaster happens somewhere around the world. We often watch them unfold live on the news, when forests go up in flames, when settlements collapse after an earthquake, and roads and bridges are torn away by landslides, when volcanoes erupt or severe floods wash away our communities under torrents of water. When major disasters threaten, the lives of thousands can be put at risk. Time is of the essence, and rapid, accurate data can be crucial, particularly if search and rescue teams have to access very remote terrain. Today, satellites are some of the most helpful observers on our planet. From orbit, they can see through the clouds, detect storms and fires, and even reveal the slightest movement in the Earth's crust, literally anywhere in the world. Especially in crisis situations, when time is crucial, radar satellites are very important to get information about the situation of the affected ground as soon as possible. In contrast to optical imagery, radar sensors provide more useful imagery at day and night and at almost any weather condition. For instance, radar sensors can look through clouds, which is not possible for optical sensors. Thus, radar satellite provides systematic imagery of the affected region. Another advantage of radar sensors is the possibility to measure deformation of the Earth's surface. Interferometric radar techniques enable the monitoring of land subsidence, landslide and the measurement of deformations due to earthquakes. However, satellites are always moving. They pass over a region affected by a disaster for only a few seconds and return anywhere from hours to days later. It is unlikely that a single satellite would be in place to witness a disaster when it happens. But there are many satellites circling our planet, each on a different track and capturing different views of our Earth. The chance of getting the perfect picture of the disaster zone is much higher if rescue teams can combine all of these views and pick the best of them. This is the idea behind the International Charter Space and Major Disasters, founded in the year 2000 by the European, French and Canadian space agencies. Providing the best available satellite pictures to help with disaster relief and recovery anywhere in the world, and doing it without expecting anything in return. Today, more countries from all around the world have chosen to commit their satellites to help provide the information necessary to understand the impact of major disasters, what has happened, who has been affected and how to respond effectively. And every country in the world can access this information through the universal access the International Charter offers. The International Charter Space and Major Disasters can now look back on 70 years of successfully providing operational satellite-based response to the disaster management community. Its services were activated more than 550 times. Since its foundation in the year 2000, the Charter steadily increased to a group of 16 members distributed all over the globe. This also increased the capabilities of the virtual satellite constellation of the Charter. New collections and archive data can be provided from a number of more than 60 satellite missions with different characteristics in spatial resolution, acquisition frequency and ground coverage. This also includes several radar missions, such as the Sentinel-1 mission operated by the European Space Agency in the frame of the Copernicus program, the German Terrasa X mission, the Japanese ALUS-2 satellite and the Canadian RadarSat-2 mission. These SAR missions are very useful to provide data quickly after a crisis event, which can be used to extract crisis information in near real time for supporting emergency management activities. An earthquake in Asia. One satellite has provided a high-resolution image of the area before, and another satellite passes over just after the tremor. The images show where homes and villages have collapsed and where roads have been blocked by landslides. Rescue teams have up-to-date information in hours, helping them decide how to access the affected area and where they can do the most good. Very high-resolution optical satellites are best suited to detect small, complex structures and are therefore the first choice to detect damaged buildings and other destroyed infrastructure within urban environments. For the example, the American Worldview satellites or the French-Italian satellites Playard are able to provide data with a spatial resolution below one meter. Thus, also small-scale changes on the Earth's surface can be detected. After earthquakes, radar satellite data can be used to derive large-scale topographic displacements with a precision of millimetric scale from space. 
This is enabled by the method of repeat pass SAR interferometry, which allows to detect phase differences in pre- and post-event radar satellite data. Interferograms can help us to determine the location, magnitude and type of an earthquake. They can also help us to improve earthquake models and investigate the future seismic hazard for an area. A volcanic eruption in Africa. Special satellites are configured to observe the lava, smoke and dust and to deliver high-resolution maps of the affected communities. Experts can accurately assess whom to evacuate and where to establish a safe refugee camp. Flooding in Europe. A satellite gauges the amount of rainfall, while another measures the rising water level through the clouds. Yet another satellite delivers the latest map of affected areas, while others track the next storm brewing over the horizon. Citizens can be warned, trains stopped, roads closed, dams fortified, to help manage the worst of the water. Especially during flood events, which usually occur during periods of long-lasting precipitation in cloud cover, SAR sensors are optimally suited for providing reliable crisis information on these floods. Due to the independence of the radar signal from atmospheric conditions, they allow data gathering also during bad weather conditions and during the night. This offers the possibility to observe the whole extent even of large-scale flood events and their spatial temporal evolution in a time and cost-efficient manner. SAR-derived flood extent maps can be an important information source for an effective flood disaster management. Furthermore, such maps provide valuable distributed calibration and validation data for hydrologic models of river flow processes and support the derivation of spatially accurate hazard maps in terms of flood prevention activities, insurance risk management and spatial planning. Near real-time availability of the information derived from the satellite imagery is very important to support rescue teams during evacuation measures. The local organizations, the International Red Cross and other rescue teams require information about the current situation in the affected area as soon as possible. We cannot prevent natural disasters from happening, but we can help to manage their consequences. Satellites provide rapid, accurate information anywhere around the world 24 hours a day. The International Charter Space and Major Disasters is helping to save lives wherever disasters strike.